The survey guy is actually coming out, a licensed professional. Oh. Say hey to YouTube, Miko's Property Show. It is a full downpour out here. What's going on everybody? Welcome to Nico's Property Show. Lots of exciting things happening. Well, what's the most exciting thing? Well, first of all, it's episode four. Thank you for sticking along through episode one, two, and three, getting through all that kind of work. Now I'm excited because the survey guy is actually coming out. A licensed professional is coming out to stake the four corners of my lot and then stake out my house. That's gonna take about 40 to 45 different stakes. So I'm really excited because once my house is staked out, guess what that means I get to do? I get to dig the footer. So now I'm not sure if I'm gonna use somebody else to do that right now or if I'm gonna convince my brother to help me with it because he actually knows how to do all that stuff too. So I don't know about that process, but once we can dig that footer, what I can do then is actually lay down the rebar, get it poured, get it all nice, you know, where you see the concrete before they start putting the blocks on it. And then these guys come back out and put these little tiny like nails, but like these pins all the way through the house again. So what that does is allow your foundation people, so the people that are laying the foundation, the blocks, are gonna come back and be able to lay that entire foundation so they can get the framing up and the whole process goes crazy. This is really exciting, why? Because the house actually takes structure now. Like you're actually gonna see it, the build happens, we can break ground. I'm excited, I hope you're excited, but let me stop talking so much, let me get to work and show you how this surveying process works. Thank me for that. So you're using this. So I draw this up on my computer. Uh huh. And then I use this and I put it in there about these bearings and distances. Yeah. So. Oh, I got you. Then I can put it on my computer and then I drew your house and put so it on there. You just smack a dab on there. Yeah. Okay. And then I pick a northern and eastern mm -hmm. for each one of these points. Okay. So I just wanted to give you all an idea of what was happening out here. Just giving you an explanation through all that. They got to do it. It's all with the coordinates. I mean, it's GPS coordinates, so it's as precise as it gets. I mean, you might be off a little bit here and there, but it's about as precise as it gets. And it's cool because it actually sets your house up in a place to be able to know exactly like where you're going. Um, and this, you know, this is required for anywhere that you do it. You want to get it professionally surveyed. You want it staked out professionally. Do not try this at home by yourself. I mean, you got to have, you, be licensed, like have someone do it that's a professional so that you're not going backwards and then trying to, you know, like fix everything in the long run. So that's it. So I can remove my old stakes because they got the professional ones and you don't want to get them mixed up. So take all my old stakes out, let him get his new stakes in, we'll be in business. Really visualized now. Yeah, literally. <laughs> See, that's kind of what kind of sledgehammer is that? Is that a three pound? Uh, I think it's four. Four, man. Um, that three pound don't work as good as I thought it would. <laughs> Six months, seven months, maybe. 
All right, y'all, we're moving in the right direction. He's getting all the stakes put in. I'm excited because that means we can finally start breaking ground. Like I said earlier, I mean, this is something that I've been waiting for for so long. Well, not that long, honestly, just in the video, it seems like forever, but I'm excited to get this going. This is happening. Things are moving like they should. And when things are moving in a positive direction in construction, that means you're in good shape. So luckily, I'm good. Hopefully, it continues moving this well. And um, we're just gonna be knock this out and keep moving, have an awesome day. Hard working dog. Mm hmm. Ain't that right? Say hey to YouTube, Miko's Property Show. Tell him you said hey. All right, bye bye. We want it, man. Trying to get somebody out is like pulling teeth nowadays. All right, y'all. So now that he has it all staked out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some string and I actually have some of that orange uh, paint with a paint stick and I'm going to run that string along the boundaries of the house so you can see the four corners and how the house is going to lay and I'm going to actually spray paint that orange. So I'm going to grab this stuff real quick and I'm going to get that job done so that we can see the actual outline of the house. So let's get it going. Got the whole perimeter, now I'm just gonna paint it. So as I was showing you, I'm just putting that little perimeter around with the yellow green string, um, whatever color you want to call it. But I just did that for, you know, visual purposes. I wanted to see what the house will look like, you know, sitting off the side of the street right there. Um, I'll be able to fit maybe one or two cars in the driveway right there. Um, also, I'll be having my car in the driveway, so I'll be able to just have people park on both sides right there. So that'll be great. I'm painting or spray painting it orange all the way around the perimeter just to give myself a better visual like I just said. So um, here, I'm gonna show you a little bit. So as you can see, that goes around there, goes all the way down, comes all the way across, comes all the way down again. And then you got the front porch right here. And I'll show you a visual of the outside of the house so you can kind of have a better understanding. And I'm giving you this view right here and you can see the house sits off the road just like this. Uh, it's gonna be beautiful. And I'll have a little side yard right there, put some grass down so all my nieces and nephews can play. And maybe one day, you know, have some of my own kids and all that good stuff, but that's nowhere near right now. At least I don't think it is. So we'll see what happens. And uh, yeah, excited for the way this house is gonna turn out. All right, so with everything being staked out, me pulling that line and then getting that orange paint all around the boundary, I am super excited to see how this house is going to turn out. Everything looks really, really good. I can't wait to work with those exterior finishes and everything like that. That's gonna be amazing. However, what I will say is that I can't wait to get the footer guy here. Um, I'm gonna try to convince my brother. As I said earlier, I'm gonna try to convince my brother to come out here and dig the footer with me. We'll see how that works out. If not, I'm gonna have somebody else come in and do the work. It's not a problem at all. However, when you get to save money doing the work by yourself you know it's called sweat equity that's how you build you know your equity into your house and then you have to pay somebody eventually so you might as well pay yourself in the long run right however thank you so much for watching this far along let's get into that footer i can't wait to show you that and let's just jump right in well we have made it to the property big shout out to my neighbor because he cut the grass not only did he sell me the property, he cut the grass. All right, y'all, so I made it to the property, and in the previous videos, I was like, yo, we're gonna be digging the footer, and I want to be digging the footer, but guess what? It won't stop raining here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Ah, uh, yeah, that's how building goes, okay? Um, especially, like, the tail end of summer going into the fall. Um, it starts to rain like crazy and it's frustrating because you want to plan everything out You got the footer guy planned out. You got the the guy laying the foundation planned out You got framing planned out and then it starts to rain for a week Well, then guess what all those guys that were supposed to come do your work 
they got other work that got backed up that they got to go do so they can't come to you for another two or three weeks depending on where you are on their schedule um however though we got the grass cut and everything big shout out to my neighbor the guy who actually sold me the property um he cuts the grass for me still i'm like hey why not you know so i pay him to cut the grass he got it all cut down for me i'm going to show you what it's looking like out here the rain's coming down but um it has settled down a little bit but it's like i can't get nothing done because it keeps raining but let's jump out of the car real quick and uh i'll give you a little sneak peek of what's happening here and then hopefully in the next videos we'll be able to dig this footer get it poured because that's gonna be some crazy content Alrighty, y'all as you can see it is a full downpour out here look at this It won't stop raining, rain, rain, go away. Please come back some other day. Like, just check this out, y'all. Full on rain. But he got all the property cut for me um, and he got it real low, which we were expecting to be actually digging the footer today. Um, and it's getting more and more downpour is coming down. Um, it's looking really good. I was so excited. I was so ready to dig this footer, but unfortunately it is what it is and we're just gonna have to deal with it. We bounce back, we keep moving. Um, I probably need to jump back in the car because it is definitely downpouring out here. It's just how life works, all right? Something tries to get you down, you keep moving, you get back up, you keep working hard, and you don't let the rain get you down. Them, them, them rainy days, the sad days, you don't let them get you down. You just wait for that sunshine to come back out so somebody can dig that footer for you. So apply that to life, you know? When it's, you know, it's rainy day, you feel sad a little bit, but keep it moving because a sunny day is on the way. But um, anyways, I'm gonna run some B-roll here for you. You know, we gotta have some music and some B-roll. So let's get to the end of this video. feet raindrops falling on the street i can't recall when i last saw the sun summer's just a memory a faded piece of history all right y'all so i am in a predicament um this kind of sucks because i was hoping that i had good weather i was hoping that i was able to dig this footer but unfortunately it just keeps on raining in chattanooga tennessee come on god we need we need a little bit of sunshine. It says next week we're going to have sunshine all week long. We'll see how that goes. It switches every other day, um, but it just keeps downpouring and then not downpouring and then downpouring. And so everybody that's supposed to be coming out is getting delayed on their other jobs and everything like that. So we're just going to keep it moving. We're going to keep this um, you know, process going. But I wanted to give a huge, huge thank you to everybody who has subscribed. We hit not only... 500 subscribers we hit a thousand subscribers we hit a thousand five hundred subscribers then we hit two thousand i appreciate every single one of y'all um i can't thank you enough thank you so much for joining like the journey of building this you know new house my new custom home um i'm so excited and i can't be more thankful i don't know what else to say thank you so freaking much from the bottom of my heart make sure you like and subscribe and also make sure you follow me across all platforms i got it all socials they're down in the description below um make sure you follow me on tiktok you'll see some like sneak peek stuff on there that's where i can post the easiest and on instagram as well without further ado i can't wait to see you on the next video so make sure y'all are watching peace out <laughs>